What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be having a look at a potential squad for Manchester City for next season. This is a video request and if you've got any video requests for me, just let me know in the comments below. Before I crack on with this video though, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, then please subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I'm aiming for 6,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. At the time of recording this video now, we've got less than 250 subscribers to go so yeah thank you everyone for the continued support you can find my social media links in the description below and also popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram then please feel free my email's also in the description below if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and also as well as leaving your comments below with any video suggestions for me also leave in the comments below your thoughts for this video and your potential squad for manchester city for next season so without further ado, we're going to have a look at Manchester City's first team squad first. So I'm going to pop up uh, what I think will be possibly Manchester City's first 11 for next season. Of course, I'm going to include signings in this. I'm going to have a look at City's potential. It's like a second 11, but it's Man City's rotated squad that we have. I'll speak through the squad. I'll speak through the signings and players to promote and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, here's my team. So I'm going for Edison in goal. I've gone for Nelson Semedo to be Manchester City's new right back. I reckon uh, that City could well possibly swap Cancelo for Semedo. It's a very realistic transfer. If Barcelona aren't able to utilise him uh, with a swap deal involving Ndombele at Tottenham Hotspur and Semedo heading, heading over to Tottenham Hotspur along with another Barcelona player, then Semedo could well become a City player because Barcelona are interested in bringing in Cancelo and of course Cancelo, um, he's had an alright season, um, he, he doesn't like staying at a, uh, one club too long so... Uh, yeah, he may well leave Manchester City, but I will say this, if um, that this doesn't happen, City aren't actively looking for a right-back and Cancelo will stay, so I'd move Walker into the first-team squad, Cancelo would go in the backup, well, I'm going to say the backup squad, into the rotated squad, and then City probably will look at a left-back. Uh, I suspect City will maybe make four or five signings in the upcoming summer transfer window. Of course, City are going to have to be a little bit more prudent with the financial uh, implications of the pandemic at this moment in time but I do expect City to still be relatively busy in the summer transfer window but I, I reckon City will probably try and spread their business maybe over two summer windows rather than potentially one if it wasn't for the pandemic we could well have done it in one but we know how City are in the transfer market you know they always leave room for improvement at somewhere and I reckon that place if um, it comes uh, and Semedo joins Manchester City I think it will be left back if not then it could well come for right back next season and we'll sign a left back this one so i've sacrificed a left back but if we are going to bring in a left back i'll mention that later on in the video with homegrown players then it will more than likely have to be a homegrown left back which means Ben Chilwell would be a, a good option for Manchester City who is apparently available for 60 million pounds not too sure if i see City paying that or going for it in particular in this window but we'll wait and see. I've gone for Milan Skrania and Emerick Laporte. I think that'll be a great centre-back partnership, in my honest opinion. Uh, of course, Emerick Laporte coming back from injury, that'll be fantastic to see and have him back in the Manchester City squad. Uh, City are looking for a proven, world-class centre-back. Uh, we've spoken about Koulibaly before. Milan Skrania's name's been chucked out there as well. Uh, Skrania, we could... I, I think it's a doable transfer. We're going to have to break our transfer record to bring him in. We're going to have to pay a lot of money to bring him in. But he's of a good age, he's a solid player, it's a doable transfer for Manchester City. It wouldn't involve us breaking our wage structure to bring him in, we'd just have to go a little bit over what we like to pay for players. I reckon, personally, £80 million would be enough. I reckon we could even, with good negotiations, possibly get him for £70 million, plus some bonuses and add-ons in there. And, you know, the transfer will rise, but the initial fee could be £70 million, which is only, what, £5, £10 million more than our current record. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But Milan Skrainer, I think, could well be a Manchester City player for next season. Like I said, left-back is a position City might look at. If we don't bring in a right back, it'll be this uh, upcoming window. If not, then it possibly will come next summer instead. So I've gone for Benjamin Mendy at left back. Rodri defensive midfield. Kevin De Bruyne sitting in um, Manchester City's heart of our midfield. He's a fantastic player. Uh, and David Silva leaving. So I would and I really want to see Phil Foden getting a lot more minutes. Uh, I'll speak about our back, uh, our, I keep calling it back up. I will speak about our rotated squad in a moment. Uh, I've just put Phil Foden in there because... 
I think Phil Foden's a great player and I'd like to see him play more minutes. Of course, we could see Phil, um, Bernardo Silva play there and possibly on our rotating squad see Phil Foden drift more out wide. It's something City have experimented with. Worked in the Cup final, in the League Cup final. Didn't work so well at Old Trafford, so potentially, maybe not. I don't know. Who knows with Pep Guardiola? Very unpredictable. Uh, I will add that. Pep Guardiola will definitely be Manchester City's manager for next season, of course. Then we'll speak from around this time last season where Juventus were interested in, which of course which I said at the time wasn't going to happen. Uh, Riyad Mahrez sitting in uh, on the wings along with Raheem Sterling, Sergio Aguero, pretty self-explanatory. All three of them have had pretty solid seasons for Manchester City. Riyad Mahrez, of course, becoming ever more important at Manchester City. I don't need to speak about Sergio Aguero. We know how good he is. So, I'm going to pop up my rotated squad, not a backup squad now. Um, it's solid, this. So, I've gone for Zach Stefan sitting in the, in the net for Manchester City. There's talk of him possibly being loaned out. If that is the case, City will have to bring in another goalkeeper. It, might work. it would suit Man City for them to be homegrown. They might not be. They don't have to be. Could be another goalkeeper. If that's the case... Now that's the case. Uh, I've gone for Kyle Walker sitting in at right back. I've gone for Semedo in the first team squad. I've gone for Eric Garcia and Nathan Ake. Now this is purely homegrown base. City are playing it very fine with homegrown players. So City, they're going to have to bring in a homegrown player. If John Stones leaves, he's going to have to be replaced, in my opinion, by a homegrown player. If not, we're going to have to bring in a homegrown player from another position, whether that would be left back, whether that would be central midfield, whether that would be a winger. Uh, they're going to have to be homegrown. We're going to have to bring in a homegrown player should a homegrown player leave and John John Stones is, and I suspect uh, with speculation going around that he will leave, uh, and I've got a feeling that he's falling down the pecking order at City, and uh, patience is growing thin, that I can see City maybe having a look at more centre-backs, uh, and Otamendi and John Stones paving the way for that, so yeah, I've gone for Nathan Ake to replace, who is, he's Dutch, but he is homegrown um, for uh, a British player, so he can come into Manchester City squad and be a homegrown player, and Eric Garcia, because I think he's a wonderful level-headed central defender, who again, just like Phil Foden, I want to see him get more minutes, I want to see more of him, calm, collected, great player, of course we'll see uh, Fernandinho sitting in um, at centre-back as an option, I've just put him in defensive midfield for this video, just purely because City, the usually go with five midfielders rather than six and we play three midfielders normally so that's six midfielders over two squads and we don't have six central midfielders so uh, I put Fernandinho but obviously it'll be used more as a centre back and uh, obviously it'll be a bit more rotation with Garcia probably getting less minutes and a homegrown centre back like Ake getting more minutes um, yeah I've gone for Zinchenko sitting in at left back um, because I reckon Angelino will leave Manchester City on a permanent basis uh, I've gone for obviously I spoke about Fernandinho so I've gone for Ilkay Gundogan and uh, Husam Aura, who um, there's grown speculation now he could well become a Manchester City player and he would be Man City's replacement for David Silva. He can play in defensive midfield, he's a very good defensive midfielder. He can uh, make a good rotated option with Kevin De Bruyne there. Got a lot of legs, good tackler as well in the middle. Uh, will be perfect in my opinion in games, difficult games, away games, Stamford Bridge, Anfield, Old Trafford, games like that. I think he'd be perfect. Got a nice gritty bite to him. He's a really good player, Husam Aura. Uh, I've got for Bernardo Silva also sitting uh, with Manchester City's midfield. He could rotate and go inside. Like I said, that would then, if Phil Foden was in the rotated squad, to move out wide. He could come central. For, just purely for this basis of this video, though, I'm going for him to sit on the wings and our sitting uh, at the front of the midfield three. Uh, Bernardo Silva drifting out wide and on the other side uh, you would see a new winger because Lee Rossane uh, will more than likely be leaving Manchester City and the only player we seem to get in link with is Oyarzabal. We don't have to negotiate because it's a release clause to bring him in. He's a highly rated young um, winger. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. Like other players that's been mentioned, Sancho would be a good option. He's homegrown by Manchester City too. That would tick all the boxes for us to bring him in. Problem is, uh, he's left Manchester City once. There was a reason you would think that he wanted uh, more minutes. Maybe Pep Guardiola didn't. Uh, rate him as highly as some other clubs do. Um, would City uh, be stubborn enough to say we don't want him back? I'm not sure that's the option. Uh, I reckon more it's just down purely to the fee. Um, I reckon we're looking at triple digit million figure fees. I just don't see City paying that, in my honest opinion. Whereas uh, if he wants to leave Borussia Dortmund, who by the way Dortmund are confident that he'll stay there, uh, maybe it could well be Manchester United who do like paying big fees and City tend to uh, sign players for 
well, big fees, but not as big as some of the other ones, like the 100, 150, even towards 200 million pound. City don't do that. They tend to sign, tend to sign players for anywhere between normally 35 and 60 to 65 million pounds, and they tend to sign four or five good quality players and we end up with a really good squad, which is because we've got a good squad, that's why we win so many trophies. And I've gone for Gabriel Jesus to sit. Uh, up front for Manchester City uh, and I suspect that he'll probably get even more minutes this season as he seems to be integrating in my opinion nicely uh, for Sergio Aguero leaving at some point when he decides to do so uh, and Gabriel Jesus um, he's hit and miss in some games but he, 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 I'm backing him to find his feet for next season so ins have gone for Nelson Semedo to become a Manchester City player Milan Skrania to become a Manchester City player Nathan Ake for homegrown reasons becoming a Manchester City player Husum Aura to become a Manchester City player player and Mikel Oyarzabal to become a Manchester City player too. We'll need a new third goalkeeper too because I reckon Murich will either leave permanently or out on loan uh, and if that's the case it'll more than likely be a homegrown goalkeeper to be brought in. We had Scott Carson out on loan last season. Wouldn't surprise me at all if we signed him on a permanent basis. Seemed to be a good figure to have in and around the dressing room. Uh, he's a nice positive figure there. Uh, so yeah, wouldn't surprise me at all if we signed Scott Carson to bring him in on a permanent deal. So to leave Manchester City I've gone for Claudio Bravo uh, I've also gone for Aro Muric, Jao Cancelo, also Nicolas Otamendi, John Stones, Angelino, David Silva, Lero Sane. That's a... Yeah, that's, that's a lot of losses there for Manchester City. Lots of good quality players there, but it's a transfer... Um, exchange shall we say that does in my opinion need to happen now City could well flirt with promoting some players uh, we normally register a squad of around 21 22 players we're allowed 25 uh, normally it's because we've got four or five homegrown players we we'll leave them spaces available so we meet the homegrown quota uh, and we can easily because players are under the age of 21 promote academy players to feature and make our squad a little bit bigger to have a little bit more depth and I imagine City will continue that conveyor belt and promote two or three uh, of some players. I had a look at some players, so we could see Harwood Bellis possibly being promoted to the Manchester City full t uh, first team full-time, possibly. Uh, we'll speak also of Jaden Braff as well. He's wanting more and more to become a first team player, or he's going to actively leave, look to leave Manchester City, much like Jaden Sancho, so he could well uh, become a first team player for City. Adrian Bernard's been mentioned. Morgan Rogers has been mentioned. Of course, we've seen Tommy Doyle feature for City a few times in the Cup too, so there's just a few players that City could well look to promote, uh, possibly to our squad for next season. So our homegrown players for next season could well be Carson or a, another homegrown goalkeeper. Obviously Phil Foden is homegrown by the club. You need four homegrown players for the Champions League, I think, uh, that need to be homegrown by the club. So Phil Foden would be one, then there'd be three gaps, which means we met that criteria if, of course, we are in the Champions League for next season. We've got a ban. We're trying to appeal it. Um, that could be reduced. It could be thrown out in court. City could have it completely overturned. City could have financial fair play chucked out. Um, City could well uh, have the case hearing going on into next season. City could be given the Champions League positions for next season. I do not know. So I'm just going to presume at the moment in time City may well be in the Champions League. I do not know. Uh, so yes, Phil Foden would be one of them homegrown players by the club. Of course, Raheem Sterling, uh, Kyle Walker. And if we do, like I said, we need to sign a homegrown player of Stones League. So I've gone for Nathan Ake to be that one. And so City, they need a squad of 22. So my squad, I've gone for Edison, Stefan, Carson, Samido, Mendy, Zinchenko. Kyle Walker, uh, who's homegrown along with Scott Carson, there's two homegrown players. Um, Skrinia, Laporte, um, Ake, so there's our third homegrown player. Eric Garcia won't need registering because he's only 19 years old, which is good news for us. It leaves a space for us. Fernandinho, Rodri, Aura, Gundogan, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, Phil Foden, homegrown and homegrown by the club. So there's four homegrown players and one homegrown player by the club. Uh, Bernardo Silva, Raheem Still, so there's our five, so leaves three spaces. Riyad Mahrez, Oyarzabal, Jesus and Aguero. All them players that I just listed is 23 players. Eric Garcia doesn't need registering, so 22 players would be registered. We've got five homegrown players in there. We need eight, so there's a three spaces taken up, and also three by the club for the Champions League taken up where we wouldn't register the players, or we could register homegrown players from the academy, so we meet the criteria. So there we go. A uh, bit of a confusing video, but it's a situation that I, I seem to have got a grasp of, so hope you uh, understood the video and enjoyed the video. Like I said, let me know in the comments below what players you want to see Man City bring in and sell. What do you think Man City's squad should be for next season, bear in mind homegrown, uh, the homegrown rule. So yeah, there we go. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. 
Also, don't forget, check out my social media links, which are in the description below if you want to go and click on the links in there to go and follow me and check me out on there. Or you can go and search for me because they're popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on my social media email. Also, in the description below too, if you want to go and hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget also, um, what else have we got to plug? I think that might be everything. Yeah, I reckon that's it. So there we go. That's been the video. I hope you're all staying safe and well during these difficult times. And I'll see you all again very soon for another Manchester City and football video. So I'll see you then. So I've been JSGC. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. One of an inflatable city that turns into a bed. It's actually really comfortable. See you all again for the next video. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>